But you know, you find people to do that in Austin. We just be out here like, you're in our way. Get out of our way, big truck. No, motherfucker, open up for our motherfucking ass. Open up for us. All you have to do is stay. Like, uh, like we we are nuisance or something like that. You know, like like we like we interfering with they day to day lives. They don't realize that without us, they wouldn't have day to day lives. You know, they wouldn't even without us, they wouldn't even have a job to go to. Without the truckers that's given their sacrifice, our sacrifice, you know, they, the, the regular people that goes to these factories, that goes to these restaurants, without the transportation industry, I, I don't think, I, I don't think nothing I, I, exists. What's up, guys? Lockout men right here in the truck that is right what is going on i am here for another video for you guys to enjoy well this one comes from a young lady nikki pointer pointer yeah she's from soul nation yeah and she has something to say y'all listen i agree what she says what she's about to say because us truck drivers are unappreciative. We bring the commodities that you guys want and need every day, but we just get stepped on like stepchildren. You know what I'm saying? Not only from, from the four wheelers and everything else, but we get stepped on by shippers and receivers. And we even get stepped on by other drivers. That's crazy. Just think of it like this. There's a National Secretary's Day there's natural, National Teachers Day. There's President's Day. No those people can do their job without a truck. <laughs> no, a surgeon doesn't have no, like really, like at some point in time, everything is touched by a truck. You know what I'm saying? If we're building, if we're, if we're bringing materials to the hospital, if we're, you know what I'm saying? Food, like people don't understand that we transport the food to give to the other places to make the food, to, to do everything. We transport it until you can break it down to smaller and put it on these vans. We transport it to the warehouses, like everything. So, you know, just imagine if there was no trucks. Oh, they would be fucked because a plane can't get a lot of places. A train sure the fuck can't get there. You know, like really. Like so, and you would have to have like ten vans to pull what a truck can hold. So the ugh, my gosh, you know, like really, come on, people, like I'm so I'm so passionate. Like it should be National Truckers Day. One day, just one day, twenty four hours. What you think will happen if if the transportation just stopped moving for that one day? Now you know it's been tried, it's been tested, it's been tried to it's been tried to be done that all us truck drivers trying to get together and show solidarity to prove to you guys that without us things won't happen. Things won't happen. See, I think I think if if the companies will come together as one and just show everybody in the world that if we just shut down for that one day what will happen it will it will go in chaos you know what i'm saying everything becomes chaos it will be chaotic Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we talking about the companies. Now what if all of the companies, all of the Warners, all of the Swifts, all of the US Express, Avery, uh, Schlugels, all of them, what if they decide for one day, one day, 
to give us drivers the appreciation that we need by showing the world what will happen if these trucks don't move. Well, their angle would not be. Now, the truth is, is that I would say that would never happen. It won't. But I'm I'm corporate. I'm corporate agent. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so let me say this. They would do it. They would do it, but not. But they would do it under the premises. You know what I'm saying? We're helping drivers. Avery helps drivers. I'm telling you right now. I'm so I'm so corporate Avery. Listen to this. Avery is Avery is standing with the industries. Our drivers would not go on National Truck Day, and we're standing with our drivers now. In that, that's what we would show the public. It would be a whole a whole memo sent out. No drivers will work on this day. We appreciate you. But behind closed doors, our meeting would be this. Yeah. You know, the rates have been really low this year. And so we're gonna go with the ang- we're gonna go with the angle of National Trucks Day, but let's face it, rates are gonna go up as soon as we do this shutdown. So let's do this shutdown so we can get this money. Oh yeah, bitch! Magnets! Oh I'm telling you! I'm telling you! I'm telling you! Okay! Y'all, y'all driving the race up! Okay! Right, but, sure. they would, but, they, but they wouldn't say they was driving the race up. They would say, yes, we appreciate our drivers. Avid loves their drivers. Right. It's all about the drivers over here. Right. You hear what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. And that's exactly you right. And, that's what be, and that will be the backroom talks of all the trucking companies. They're going right. to they all get on board because you know, you know all these companies know one another. So let's give it to them. But while at the same time, when they come back, the rates will be better because there's uh-huh. going to be a lot of people that's uh-huh. going to need they shit move. Uh-huh. That's a good idea. I mean, honey, you know, you know I'm smarter than the average bear. That's a good idea. Of course this is what's going to happen. That's a good idea. Because now, these manufacturers need their stuff now. You know what I'm saying? So that's just like overnight. You pay. You pay to get something more overnight. You get. So you get. You, you pay. You uh, pay more to get something expedited. Now these factories. You know what I'm saying? They have. They got to shut down. They got to pay overtime. Now they. They need their. Um. Oh, we can't let this happen again. Rates are gonna skyrocket high. While we sitting here fussing about rates. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, tell your trucks to sit for one day. One motherfucking day. One tell day. them to sit for 12 hours and don't move or, or, or a whole day. One you know what I'm saying? Brokers are going to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to fucking go nuts. Well, then everyone loses their minds. I'm going to bring in Miss Nikki Pointer. Pointer. So she can go ahead and vent and do this air out Friday. I'll let her go ahead and do her thing. You guys listen, pay attention, and uh, hopefully you guys will get something out of this video, all right? Because us truck drivers, man, I mean, we're, we, we people too. We're people too. We like to be appreciated. We like, I, I know there's a day for us, you know, driver's appreciation day, but we need to be appreciated every day every day all right so nikki come on in and uh talk to these people okay so i had to um come to the light so i can make an announcement because i have something to say like for real um i think drivers call me mrs claus because i think drivers should be called mr claus and mrs claus because we bring more gifts more supplies, more everything around the world. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all. And I feel like we are just so disrespected. Like, people be like, get in front of the big trucks. Try to cut the big trucks. You got all these lawyers talking about if you get hit by a truck and all this other kind of stuff. And I'm just kind of pissed off about it. So today's Friday. First of all, it is a week to my birthday celebration. But um, besides that, yeah. You know, I feel like drivers, are just plain and simply too disrespected. Like nobody moves to wear like, you wouldn't have shoes. 
you wouldn't have a house you would have nothing if it wasn't for truck drivers so like we should be glorified <laughs> I just want to say that because it seems like even when you go in some of these like places to pick up they act like truck drivers are the bottom of the earth like it's places that don't even allow us to park in their lots but we bring all of their stuff I'm just like just tripping off the world like it is crazy oh hey Ace hey Faron hey Jonathan hey Nikita but anyway I'm just venting because it's air out Friday and I want to air out all the people who don't respect truck drivers like really if all the truck drivers went on strike for a week people will be like oh my god please come back we love y'all truck drivers like really boo what's up jonathan what you saying boo for you're a truck driver you should know the deal like you should know how we're treated out here like okay so i admit sometimes people be like oh y'all truck drivers y'all got a lot of money or whatever you know what i'm saying but same token they don't want you parking in their lots and I, I admit there are some, you know, dirty truck drivers out there or whatever that make a bad rep for everybody. But in general, like we move the freaking world. Get out of our way. Let us have a room. Let us get to where we're going. Hospital supplies, touch, touched by truck drivers. Furniture in your house, touched by truck drivers. Hair, <laughs> touched by truck drivers. Like everything, your car, everything. Mostly it's touched by a truck driver. So like, I think we should have a national truck driving day. Let's get together and have national truck driving day. And let's get some respect out here. Cause I'm just really tired of these, like everybody who, who acts like, you know what? Get out of you. You're in our way. Big trucks are in our way. Well, guess what? Let us get off the road. Let us just for one day, stop pushing one week stop pushing and we'll see how much we'll appreciate it i just wanted to vent like for for real just vent for a few minutes and just get that off my chest because i seen it was it didn't even happen to me i saw somebody get cut off today this driver and like right in front of me he would have hit this car and they they didn't say sorry they didn't show any remorse i think they were trying to get hit by him good thing he was a professional driver but anyway yeah national truck driving day let's go for it let's sign a petition like i mean nobody would have nothing they needed if it wasn't for us nobody would have nothing that they needed if it wasn't for us so on this air out friday i'm airing out all the jack <laughs> you know <laughs> i don't want to say the word all the jack uh that that act like that we're so beneath them or like we don't mean nothing like you know whatever so happy friday y'all